Again, she's adorable. <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. Uh, the bugs are super loud, so I hope you can hear me. Uh, check out the strawberries uh, right here. And uh, if you want, you can come here and pick them yourself. Uh, we ended up, uh, she just, look how beautiful these are. So I ended up, my back's kind of motor, motorcycle, bike. I want to say a motorcycle accident, it's motorbike accident. But uh, yeah, so like uh, bending over at the moment doesn't sound good. But look at the strawberries she picked. Like, holy cow. Uh, look how red and juicy they are. And it's about $2.50 US dollars for this or 100 baht. And uh, like, amazing. Uh and this is right by your house, too. I, I love it and just how cute it is and beautiful. But wow, those bugs are loud. Also, she has some strawberry wine. I think I'm going to get some strawberry wine, too. I think romantic. Okay, I was slightly wrong on the price. It was actually 200 baht for all of this. Check this out. And uh, I have it. Uh, let me get that. Yeah, look at that. Look at how beautiful and red these are. I just can't get over that. That crystal clear redness. That's amazing. And yeah, it's freshly picked. Uh, so 200 baht. I, I'm wondering, it's probably cheaper if you pick it yourself. Uh, I think future date, uh, again, like, ah, I wish my back wasn't hurting so much. I could have watched Anne do it, but ah, I know. Uh, yeah, let's not do that. Uh, if we did it together, okay. But yeah, I can't believe, so 200 baht, I guess it's like uh, uh, maybe six us dollars uh yeah i mean six us dollars super super happy with it and fresh strawberries uh i'm actually gonna give it a try i know ann was already eating a bunch of them uh well she ate like three of them that's it's, it's a bunch uh oh my god that is incredibly sweet just incredible super happy but okay we're on to the next part of our day okay so we actually drove by this cute little restaurant and like to get to the restaurant we have to like walk this whole crazy beautiful path and i actually saw my neighbor peter he posted this place so yeah i mean now i see it too i see why it's beautiful look at the water no way it is beautiful Whoa. Our drinks arrived. Look at how cute this is. Oh, wow. Anne's is beautiful. Wow. I can't get over that. That is adorable. Don't let the moment pass us by. Just trust that the universe is right. Cause we All right, we're a little bit late to the movie, uh, but I think uh, there's like 20 minutes of previews, right? And uh, yeah, it's, again, it's free. So, uh, and this is all Anne. Anne always wants us to go to the movies all the time. It's not even me. So this is like, yeah, plus. So we mix it up. We do like half English, half Thai. And that's pretty much how the movies are. It's like, it is half uh, American movies, half Thai movies. So yeah, uh, but this mall is huge. So yeah, we gotta, I don't know, walk fast. No, let's take our time. Uh, but yeah, check it out. Yeah, that's a crazy drop off. Okay, here's the movie theater. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Don't want to lose the card. Uh, do you want to get a drink, soda, or no? One soda? No. Nope. Okay, let's go see a movie. Okay. Yeah. Save money. Don't get soda. Cool. Huh? Sorry, 
Thank you. Oh, so Anne went to the restroom, uh, but yeah, I'm just so crazy how this nobody is here. And uh, we're gonna see the movie The Well. Uh, Brendan Fraser, he's making a comeback, super happy after so many things happen with him, drama. Like, yeah, he's, I, I love it. Uh, but yeah, Anne is the one who insists that we always go to the movies, uh, like every single time uh, since we got the movie pass. And for her, I think it's a massive luxury, like, wow, going to the movie theater. But it's like $8 a movie pass, unlimited movie. So this is our third time this week going to the movie theater. And the last two times we saw one Thai, one English movie back to back. Uh, yeah, but I mean, $8 and it's fun. You get out of the house, the mall's huge, just walking around, it's great. So uh, yeah, I'll let you know how the movie is after we're done. And there's the Anuma. Okay, let's go. We just saw The Well, and uh, that was an emotionally powerful film. And got ice cream. I ended up, uh, yeah, I... There's a lot uh, of my own emotional demons that came up when watching the movie The Well. I don't know if you've seen it with Brendan Fraser. It just, yeah, that was, it was a good emotional movie and got you to think. And people are jerks and throughout life, uh... Yeah, there's a lot of different things I could see, and it may show the worst of human nature, maybe the best of human nature, I don't know. It, it just was one man's, like, yeah, the end of his life, pretty much. Yeah, I don't want to give any spoilers. I got to stop myself right there without giving any spoilers. But uh, yeah, I, it also made me think I had a cousin. She passed away. She was only three and a half years older than me. Uh, brain cancer. And uh, yeah, uh, life is... It's messed up, it's awful. We all are making terrible decisions a lot of the time. Uh, we grow, we try to be better. Uh, especially I love people who always are wanting to self-improve. Uh, I think once you say you're done self-improving, then uh, I don't know. Uh, I definitely, going back to the one video I said that, you know, I, I just I want to live my life, especially when I say I'm happy. I, I want people in my life who are happy for me. And especially, yeah, if I only have three years left to live, I don't know, but you, it, I know if you follow my other channel, how much my weight, it goes up and down, struggle, do extreme things. Uh, saw a dietitian last year for a year. Uh, yeah, it's it's a huge struggle. <laughs> biggest thing dietitian says is like, go to extremes, you need to be happy. Uh, so yeah, that's the biggest thing too. Uh, and I definitely, I, I think, I guess maybe the older I get, wiser I get or something. I just really want positive people that enter my life. I'm not talking about social media, by the way. I'm talking about a lot of people ask to come meet me and because uh, I, I put myself out there. And they're like, oh, this guy's a cool guy. And uh, yeah, some people are just kind of a train wreck or we don't clash. And uh, yeah, or, yeah I, I just, I honestly want positive people. And uh, whatever remaining time in my life, I want to be with my family and people that love me and people that uh, yeah, just want to keep self-improving along with me and be better people. Uh, so Anne's really enjoying her. Uh, I can hear her eating it. So she's super, super happy eating it. So Anuma, what are you eating? Papaya salad. Oh, good job. Uh, what is what is this here? Octopus. Octopus. Oh yeah, octopus. Yeah. See, uh, and yeah, we got the strawberries. Uh, so yes, uh, she could eat papaya salad every day. She would, but honestly, super healthy. But if you come to Thailand, here's something falong, which foreigners. Uh, so the falong. Uh, they will add extra sugar to it. They won't make it spicy. Uh, so just kind of watch for that. I honestly try it the Thai way. Uh, one thing is fish sauce. Uh, they definitely add fish sauce to it and that kind of freaks out Falong too. So yeah, they, Falong style is completely different than Thai style, but this looks more like uh, Bangkok uh, papaya. So if you watched the video from yesterday, the long version, you saw her eating like, it looked more like an Isan papaya salad. This definitely looks like a Bangkok papaya salad. And I think I'm gonna still, yeah, it doesn't look very spicy. Oh, what does she got? Oh, she has sticky rice. Oh, wow, that's really, really cool. Okay, so that was officially our, you saw our lunch. You saw, we only ate two meals today and that's 
It, uh, I, I think we're going to, we've been talking about, she sent me a very long message of a uh, uh, thing like she wants us to get on a routine on our diet because we both gain weight. When you're happy, you gain weight. But I, honestly, I stopped exercising because of uh, my the motorbike accident. And I, I said the same thing with the strawberries. I didn't want to bend over. Uh, so that's a bummer. And especially the movie The Well, it made me... Uh, Exercise. I, I saved my life by exercising, and uh, yeah, he he didn't exercise, and yeah, that that really sucked. Uh, so definitely, yeah, it's a bummer. So yeah, got to keep exercising, keep going, uh, and always is trying to get me out of the house now. So like, yeah, she says she's crazy because I said when we first met, she's like, oh, I'm a homebody, I want to stay home, and now it's like all the time we got to go to let's go to the sheep or let's go do strawberries and uh, yeah or go to the movies. So. Yeah, I'm actually really happy because all those are good things. Um, so I think at the moment we're not trying to make any more friends because, whoa, uh, it's just been really, really crazy. People trying to meet me and like some people are just not right for us. Uh, so anyways, okay, and we're going to go bye-bye. Uh, thank you all so much for uh, coming along. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed our date uh, today and uh, a little bit of what we did. So bye. Bye.